Alexander, what do you see as the main challenges and opportunities for the President's nominee for Latin America in the next five years? Just the fact that we are going to have the Congress 2019 in Curitiba yes. really provides us with a unique opportunity to uh, bring together scientists uh, to address uh, challenges all over the region. Yes. And already earlier today we discussed one of those challenges, which is really to also assist our member organizations, among which there are many universities, yes. to make sure that their educational programs yes. live up you know to the standards around the globe and that they also address and incorporate issues that are of high significance globally and also in the region that is one of the aspects that I that we have in mind of course we know that uh, we heard it throughout this whole Congress that it will be extremely important to also forge links to other scientific disciplines to, uh, to adopt more integrated approaches also to policy formulation the landscape level approaches and so on I think all those issues are important for the Latin American region but at the same time there are issues where we can also learn from Latin American experiences yes. and again bring that back to the global network of fighting for. Yes. So I think there are many opportunities. Thank you. Thanks very much. But perhaps, Manuel, I should ask you that question. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, there are many opportunities as well. I think there's a great you know, deal of knowledge in the region which has been untapped. Uh, in a formal way. I think, you know, they're very interesting organizations who are doing very good grassroots uh, work. Uh, there are very or many organizations and universities who are really doing, uh, you know, work uh, from the bottom up. And you don't see those types of activities uh, be, you know, being brought into uh, the regional dialogue. So I think that, you know, me as, as President's nominee for Latin America uh, can really catalyze that, that, you know, that dimension, uh, which can be also, you know, being brought up uh, 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 on its way to the, to the World Congress in 2019. Great, and of course, I think we should also add that, you know, there is a long-lasting collaboration between CIFR and IUFRO, Correct. both between the two organizations and also in the context of the collaborative partnership and force, Correct. of which both organizations are members. Yes. Uh, regarding, you know, these projects um, on a more scientific basis, we could make reference to the evidence-based initiatives, right. to the top 20 questions in forestry. Right. CIFR scientists actively participate in our global forest expert panels initiatives. Correct. Nevertheless, I think we could even strengthen and involvement of scientists and researchers from the Latin American region also in those activities. So I see great potential also in this context. Absolutely. Thanks very much. I thank you, Manuel. Thank you.